Hi, this is Ryan Bledsoe from the Duo Musical Playground. I'm going to show you the materials that you'll use for this XP. First, you'll need a microcontroller. I'm using an Arduino Uno. This is an older board, so if you are also using an Arduino Uno and it doesn't look like this, it's probably just because yours is newer than mine. You'll need a USB cable that is appropriate for your microcontroller. Make sure that it can plug in to the port. We're also going to be using wires. How many wires you need and what kind of wires you need will depend on the kind of piezo buzzer that you're using. So I have two different kinds here. I have some alligator clips and also just some regular wires that we can plug in. I'm using red and black. For this I'll be using the black wires for ground or negative and I'll be using the red wires for the positive or the wires that we plug into the certain pins on the Arduino. You're also going to need a piezo buzzer which is the speaker for your project. Piezo buzzers come in all different types so I have some examples here of different kinds of piezo buzzers. The sound quality of your speaker depends on the buzzer that you have. Um, in this case, you just want to get whatever is available to you and um, play with it first. I'm going to be using this very large one because it's a bit easier to see. You don't want to use something like this one because this one doesn't have any wires attached to it and that would be very difficult for us today. If you're using a piezo buzzer that goes directly into your breadboard like this one, I'll show you special instructions for this because you can see that the two leads coming off of them are different lengths. One of them is positive and one of them is negative. Just as on these, you can see one is black, one is red for the same reason. Black is negative, red is positive.